Welcome back. We're staying on security. Inadequate funding, insufficient uh, assets, and the vast area of coverage are some of the challenges confronting the Nigerian Air Force. The chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Oladayo Amao, disclosed this while opening a three-day retreat of the service in Abuja. Defense correspondent Sifon Essien reports. This may not be the best of times for the Nigerian Air Force. In the last three months, the service has recorded a plane crash missing fighter aircraft and claims its fighter jet misfired land forces in a battle against Boko Haram in Minoc, Borno State. This retreat by the Chief of the Air Staff provides a platform for senior officers to take a second look at the operations of the Air Force. As you are all aware, any entity that aims to excel in its endeavor must take time out once in a while to conduct critical and safe appraisal. Accordingly, this event is expected to feature robust, no old bar con conversations, which I expect we go a long way in repositioning the Nigerian Air Force for more effective service delivery, especially in areas of operations, <coughs> logistics, as well as aircraft and armament engineering. The Air Chief is quick to identify some of the challenges confronting the service, which he intends to surmount. We are faced with several militating challenges, such as, such as insufficient number of air assets, vast area of coverage in the various theaters of as well as inadequate funding. We are, however, also cognizant of the fact that no nation or organization can get all that is required per time, even among developed nations. Therefore, the onus is on us to walk through these challenges and adopt the best operational strategies to achieve the desired results within limited available resources, while continuously pushing for more. Yet, the task of meeting its mandate stares the Air Force in the face amid the challenge of maintaining a high spirit among its personnel. For the Air Chief, the need for troops' morale to remain high is now more important than ever. Sifon Isien, TVC News, Abuja.